Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to monetize your app by implementing Google Ads. I'll show you how to make money with this banner ad, as well as a full screen ad that is triggered by some kind of event. So the first thing we need to do is to sign into Google AdMob, which I'll have all the links below. And from here, after you sign in, we're going to need to create a new app. You can choose either Android or iOS. And then it says, is this app listed on the supported app store? So you can check either one of these. And if it's actually on the app store, then it's going to need to get reviewed and approved. But we can just say no for now and link it later. I'm just going to call it tutorial app. And sweet. So once you've done that, I'm going to refer you to the official documentation because this is exactly what I'm following. And we just need to do a little bit of setup. So I'll show you how to do it for both Android and iOS. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and let's go to Android app source main Android manifest. And so just at the top here, you want to add this bit of code and just change this value. If I come back to my Google ad mob dashboard, go to the app settings and the app ID. So just copy your one and put it in here. Same thing for iOS. If I go to runner and info P list, just at the top, let's do the same thing. Cool, and that's all the setup we need. Now for this one, I'm going to just delete everything below the main function to create this from scratch. Let's create my app and let's separate out the home page just to make everything nice and clean. Sweet, so we should just have a blank white app like this. And then we need to add in the package. So I'm going to open up my terminal and say Flutter Pub Add Google Mobile Ads. Sweet. Just to set up in the main function, just say widgets Flutter Binding Ensure Initialize, and then we have to initialize this Mobile Ads SDK. Cool. So that's all the setup. Now we need to create our banner ad. So I'm going to create a new file called banner add widget and let's create a stateful widget here. And if you start typing banner add, you can see it's there from our package that we just added. And let's also have a is loaded boolean. Cool. Now the important thing here is to have the add unit ID. So if I just check the platform and I import this one, we can check if it's Android or iOS. So coming back to our Google ad mob. Let's create a new banner ad. It's going to call it tutorial banner ad. And you can see it's got the ad unit IDs here. So these are the ones that you want to use. But for those real IDs to work, they're going to need to get reviewed and approved. So it might take a bit of time. So what you can do is use a test app ID. So if I just scroll down in the documentation, if I click on the implement banner ad, and you scroll down, you can see we can test with this. So I want you to grab both of these ones and that's what I'm going to use here. And later on, you want to change these to your real IDs. Sweet. And then now next thing to do is to just load the ad. So let's just create a quick method here and let's get the banner ad. So we can provide the size. We've got the add unit ID and let's just fill out some of these basic things. So for the listener, there's a couple options here. So on add loaded. As well as on add failed to load. And then for the request, we can just give the add request object and just load this at the end. Sweet. And then in our initial state, let's just load the ad so that it loads at the very beginning and also just have a dispose at the end. Sweet, now when it comes to the UI down the bottom, let's say if we have a banner ad and it's loaded, then let's try to display it. 
So just to control the size, let's provide the actual width and height as a double. And child, we can give the add widget finally. Cool, and then if the add doesn't exist, then we'll just have a sized box, which will be blank. Sweet, so that's our banner add widget. Now let's come back to our home page and try to display this. So in the center, if I just try to bring in my banner add widget, there it is, but it looks like we have an error. So usually when we bring in a new package, we're going to need to just restart the app. And beautiful, there is our banner ad, and you can see it's loaded. And you can now place this widget literally anywhere on the screen in your app. And that's how easy it is. Now the next type of ad is a full screen ad and it's actually called interstitial ad. So let's create that. I'm just gonna call it tutorial interstitial ad. Let's create it. You got these real IDs that you wanna use. So coming back to our code, let's create a new file called interstitial ad manager. And for this, I'm just gonna create a simple class because we're going to need to have some controls for this. So the word interstitial, like interstitial ads are basically just full screen ads that are triggered after an event. So we're gonna do a similar setup. I'm going to have the add unit IDs. And again, you wanna put in your real IDs here. But for right now, we can just use the test app IDs just to make sure that this works. And then we want to load the ad and I want to have a method to just show the ad as well. So firstly for the loading part, it's going to be quite similar. But when it comes to the ad load callback, let me write some comments here for you. So we're going to have the on ad loaded. So this will be when the ad is successfully loaded, which means we can grab that ad. And then if the ad was failed to load, then let's just print what that error is. And then down here, let's create a method to just show the ad. So I'm just gonna do a quick if statement and just check to make sure that we have an ad and everything's loaded. Then we can go to this full screen content callback. And we have to fill out these couple of methods. So on add showed full screen, on add dismissed full screen, and on add failed to show full screen content. So if it failed to show it, then let's just dispose of the ad and then make sure to load the ad. And actually we should do the same thing for when we dismiss the ad as well. And then to show it, we can just say interstitial ad dot show. So this first if statement is just checking if we have an ad to show. If we don't, then let's say that the ad is not ready. And like usual, we'll have our dispose method as well. This is all the code that we need. Coming back to our home page, let's now try to display it. So I'm gonna create our ad manager that we just had. And then in the initial state, we're going to just load the ads. Same thing for the dispose. And then now I'm going to actually wrap this in a column. So we've got that banner ad widget. And below it, let's have some way to display the interstitial ad which is the full screen ad. So this one is going to be triggered by some sort of event. So for example, if I have a elevated button on pressed, if I press it, then we're gonna show the ad. Okay, so if I save this, okay, it looks like it's all scrunched up at the top. So for the column, let's main access alignment to the center. And sweet, so you got the banner ad, and then you can see the ad was loaded. And if I click the button, then it's gonna show this kind of full screen ad. So obviously right now, we made it so that the ad is showing with a button tap, but it could be triggered anywhere in your app. 